This video presentation is represented by electrical4u.com, an online electrical engineering study site. Today, we are going to discuss about inductor and its inductance. A current through a conductor produces a magnetic field surround it. The strength of this field depends upon the value of current passing through the conductor. The direction of the magnetic field is found by using the right-hand grip rule, which shown. If you hold the current carrying conductor by your right hand, as shown, the thumb will indicate the direction of current whereas other four fingers will indicate the direction of magnetic flux lines. Here the flux pattern for this magnetic field would be number of concentric circle perpendicular to the direction of current. Now if we wound the conductor in form of a coil or solenoid, it can be assumed that there will be concentric circular flux lines for each individual turn of the coil, as shown. But it is not possible practically, as if concentric circular flux lines for each individual turn exist, they will intersect each other. However, since lines of flux cannot intersect, the flux lines for individual turn will distort the form. Complete flux loops around the whole coil as shown. This flux pattern of a current carrying coil is similar to a flux pattern of a bow magnet, as shown. Now, if the current through the coil is changed, the magnetic flux produced by it will also be changed at the same rate. As the flux is around the coil, this changing flux obviously links the coil. Now according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, if changing flux links with a coil, there would be an induced EMF in it. Again as per Lenz's law this induced EMF opposes every cause of producing it. Hence, the induced EMF is in opposite of the applied voltage across the coil. Hence. Self-induced EMF in a coil is produced due to its own changing flux and changing flux is caused by changing current in the coil. So, it can be concluded that self-induced EMF is ultimately due to changing current in the coil. And self-inductance is the property of a coil or solenoid, which causes a self-induced EMF to be produced, when the current through it, changes. Now, mathematically this can be written as minus E proportional to di dt, where Minus E is the induced counter -emph. DIDT is the rate of change of current through the coil with respect to time. The above equation can also be rewritten as minus E equals L into DIDT say this is equation 1. Where, L is the constant of proportionality and this L is defined as the self-inductance of the coil or solenoid. This L determines how much EMF will be induced in a coil for a specific rate of change of current through it. However, the induced EMF is basically due to the rate of change of flux linkages. Thus, the EMF may also be calculated by Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction as follows, minus E equals N into D phi dt say this is equation 2. Where N is the number of turns in the coil and D phi dt is the rate of change of flux linkage with respect to time with one turn. Now, from equation 1 and 2, we get LDI dt equals N d phi dt, or LDI equals N d phi. Integrating, both sides we get, LI equals N phi, or L equals N phi by I, say this is equation 3. From the above expression, inductance can be also be defined as, if the current I through an, N turn coil produces a flux of phi Weber, then its self-inductance would be L. A coil, which is designed to have a specific value of self-inductance, is known as an inductor. Now, if cross-sectional area of the inductor core is A, A and flux density in the core is B, then total flux inside the core of inductor is A into B. Therefore, equation 3 can be written as L equals N into A, A into B divided by I. Now, B equals mu0 H where H is magnetic field strength and mu0 is permeability of the core. Now, H equals MMF per unit length. That means H equals Ni by L, where L is the mean length of the coil. Therefore, L equals N into AA into mu0 into N into I divided by Li, equals mu0 into N square into A divided by L. This is the final expression of inductance of an inductor. Thank you. Hope, you got a clear and basic idea. So, please do not forget to watch more technical video presentation, and many more, in electrical4u.com.